Damn! I've never actually seen the footage from it. Nigga, he didn't miss yet. He still ain't missed. Good YouTube, we are back again with another reaction video. This time we are reacting to another Larry Legend video and that is Larry Bird's Greatest Moments. Now, anyone who has been watching me the past couple months or so, you know how my respect for Larry Legend has grown. Like before I really got into these videos, if you watch my first Larry Bird reaction video to the Ultimate Mixtape, you can see how I was like, I didn't really know my shit. I didn't really know what Larry was about. But once I watched two or three videos, I really understood just how ahead of his competition he was and how elite his skill set was and how elite his basketball IQ was and just how there actually is a legitimate GOAT debate. Like, I really thought Jordan was the only person in the conversation, period. But now I definitely understand where the Larry Bird fanatics come and their argument for him as possible GOAT. I mean, I still got MJ as a GOAT, but you know, Larry, Larry Legend is the perfect nickname for him. Without further ado, let's just get into it. I could talk about it all day, but let's get into this Larry Bird greatest moments reaction. Let's get it. If you don't know about Larry, you about to learn something. Just watch. <laughs> Just watch. Oh, this is my shit. Oh. I was about to crank, pull up on that ass. Boy, hold on, hold on. It's a little too loud. A lot of that. A lot of that clutch shit, baby. This one don't need to be that loud. Larry Bird was always on that clutch shit. Don't get the shit twisted. Yo, low key, I might have watched too many Larry Bird videos at this point. Like, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I already know what he's about to say. <laughs> it's still crazy, though. Just give me the fucking rock, stupid. I don't even care how many times I hear it, it's still crazy. Like, it's still dope, it's still legendary. Like, uh huh, uh huh. Hey yo, you know how I'm like y'all really understand the type of confidence this man had. Even like he already talking shit before he even get he already talked shit. He already was so confident he was like, coach, just give me the rock. Then he come to you, hit the shot, and then he's like, bro, I ain't even mean to you that much time on the clock. Like, damn. I knew I was going to hit it, but I really want to leave no time. <laughs> damn, trolls. Game's your ass. Where's Larry at? Who's that, Pippen? Is that MJ? I'ma just assume this is a game winner. He definitely he just gained Scotty and MJ. What? That's cold. Why you do my goal like that? Damn. Bro. Hold on, uh, I'm just trying to think, like, two of the best defenders ever to play this game, just easy. Like, it wasn't just no regular double team. Like, I don't give a fuck who you put on me. Myself and That's Bird, cool. 
Some cold shit. Give me those. Mm -hmm. Clutch offensive plays. Clutch defensive plays. My man stole the rock and got the assist in like half a second. And that's clutch. Like, he won the game off of that shit. Man, look at all this clutch shit. Move it out the ball. Yo! Okay. Let me say, let me tell y'all something. Like we see a lot of players hit game winners, but do we see them gaining the best players in the game? Like, have you seen KD hit hit? Have you seen KD game LeBron? Have Have you seen LeBron game KD? Like, they're, we're playing one on one, and I game you. Like, I don't know. I ain't seen that too much, but I definitely just saw Larry Legend game Jordan and Pippen in one play. Sorry. And then game magic. Game. I love this story so much. I can listen to this story 20 times. Larry came back to the bench. He was a little upset. Oh. Fucking commercials, bro. I need that YouTube premium, dog. But I want to support the other creators. Like, if I have YouTube Premium, I skip all the ads, don't watch none of the ads automatically, and they ain't gonna get as much bread. I want y'all to watch my yeah, ads too. Larry so. came back to the match. You know, he was a little upset. He looks at the match and says, "Well, hey guys, when I come back after time, I don't know if I'm gonna go right to the same spot. I'm gonna kick it in." Class, your ass, baby. I'm gonna kick it in. Two seconds left. The by one. Skag, off the one leg. Skag, skag, skag. Love it. Love it. How many people do you know what talk to the other team like and say, I'm going to stick it in your face? None. What the fuck happened? I'm just guarding him by looking. He looked at me and he goes, Ain't no game you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. You're confident. You're a rookie. You don't know anything. Oh, no, no, Zach, shit, boy. The coach took me out of the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out of Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump. And as I go by. I love it. I go by. I love it. Fly, bird. I see so many shits throughout the video. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Check. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Because you know if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way. And he delivered. Larry, Larry might... Larry just might be the clutches ever, bro. Can I get like a like a Larry versus Jordan MJ video where you showing me like Larry's game winners and then Jordan's game winners? Who got more? Who's were tougher? I've seen so many of these. That's so crazy. And listening to him, that's, that's a tough feeling. But, okay, so you guys got Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Cortello, I think. For... And, and Eddie Johnson. That's so deflating. I used to feel like a helpless little kid, like you're his little bro. 
<laughs> like he's a high school you a kindergarten he tell you I'm a, I'm a dunk on you I'm gonna shoot it off the glass over here I'm gonna score you and there's nothing you can do nothing you can do mad that he was cooking the because it's fucking Larry. He's like, I mean, I know he's gonna fry y'all. Like, I know there's really nothing y'all could do because it's Larry. But don't fucking cheer him on on the bench, fool. <laughs> oh, that's cold right there. So cold. So cold. Disgusting. Disgusting. You're a basketball genius. You'd be a step ahead, uh, a thought ahead. Uh, play the game like a chess game. Mm. I'd much rather guard Michael Jordan than Larry Bird because you have to play the game as a thinker when you I'll never get over that statement. Larry was quick, could jump really high. Just some sleepless nights. Bro, I'll never get over hearing that statement. Something I never thought anyone would ever say. I'd rather guard Jordan than anyone. That's that's saying a lot. Saying so much. <laughs> that's saying so much. Trash talking and just general bravado. It's and great. The tactics of, of all was made for Larry. It's great. And Clap. Larry would back up his boast Clap. by not only winning the contest, Clap. but Damn. blowing away the competition with a phenomenal shooting display. That boy ain't hitting shit. Damn. Damn. I've never actually seen the footage from it. Nigga, he didn't miss yet. He still ain't missed. Oh, I'm trying to see the whole thing. Hey, that's what I was talking about. This ain't what they wanted for a year. Fuck you, me. <laughs> Hold on. I fuck with that. At least through three quarters. He had 27 points left. Man. I'm not even going to say it. I say it every time. Just think about that. He's right handed. He's playing against professional players with his offense. Four twenty seven. I'm like more impressed every time I see it. Motherfucker shot that shit over the backboard, bro. Person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding a few choice comments of his own. Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL. You know, he, he just went to work. Hey, he ain't know who the hell Larry was. 
See, bro, you would have benefited from, like, social media and, like, Twitter and all that shit because you would have known what happens when you talk that talk to Larry Legend. It don't end well. It does not end well. Uh. Uh, little man. Get that shit out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while and we always had run ins, but uh, it always seemed like I, I get the last word. <laughs> yeah, couldn't stop talking shit. difficult it is to, the way he just flipped his switch on that rack like it's not like he was off in the first half went in the locker room came out rewarmed up and then went in like no my man was breaking on the first three racks then just <laughs> they said he missed on purpose to make it more difficult. <laughs> I believe that. Magic and Larry come out together. Two guys that saved the lick. They wouldn't even be playing this game without those two. And Magic mm -hmm. passes the ball. Larry makes the first basket. Uh, effortless. Bro, that shit was just effortless, bro. He caught that shit that got right to it. First play of the game. Cash, I'm about to score you. I need to watch the Magic Johnson joint too. Larry. <laughs> Larry. Opening night was a smashing success. But the outcome never in doubt. And late in the game, fans in Portland decided they wanted a curtain call from a three time MVP. I couldn't even imagine playing playing on that team with both of them passing like that. Fuck around, get your head knocked off with a pass. <laughs> All them no looks from from Bird and Magic. And as he done so many other times in his career, Larry Bird rose to the occasion. It was a virtually flawless performance. The final margin of victory was 77 points. And Magic and Bird led the way. The fuck? <laughs> Damn! Not 77 points, bro. Walking on the fuck court. Oh wow! No fucking way! He came out with a Celtic sh shirt on. There would be another Larry Bird, and Larry, there will never, ever, ever be another motherfucking Larry Bird. I believe it. I'm with y'all on it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm gone. To cooking you fool. Sorry, my bad. Sorry,
That's a little. Yes, sir. I don't care how many times I see some of these plays, some of these moments, they will always be tough. To the outro. This outro is going to be quick. Uh, that video actually had a good amount of like Larry clips that I've already seen. So I can't really say I learned a lot from that video. What I will say is like in the beginning of the video, when they were showing all his clutch plays, I've definitely learned that that was Larry. Like he might be... He might be the clutches ever, like, to be honest. No cap. Like, I've never really done no research on that. I just know Jordan is known as, like, super clutch. Obviously, he is. He's a go super clutch. But I've never actually had any, like, supporting evidence to say who's the clutches ever. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I've definitely seen stats. I just haven't seen all the stats to know who it is. Like, low-key, the stats will tell you, I think LeBron... Like, based on the stats, I kind of feel like LeBron has the best, like, clutch stats. But, like, to me, stats is not the only thing that's going to prove your clutchness, which is why it's always up for the big. And which is why I say, like, I can see Larry Legend being, like, marked as the clutchest ever. Right now, it's Jordan for me because it's just Jordan. It's just, I don't know what else to tell you. But... <laughs> You know, some other people got it as as Larry, and and I can honestly say at this point, I respect y'all opinion. Like y'all, I can't really say I I disagree or agree. Like I could say, for me, I guess it's Larry and Jordan as the clutches, you know. And I can't really say I can put one over the other, because these videos teach me a lot. But and I never that's saying a lot because I never thought anybody could get really close to MJ in my mind. And I mean, I don't know how close I have Larry to him now, but but still, that's saying a lot. Like, I never ever put anybody in that category with MJ. So that's saying a lot, like I said. But as always, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Always know that God got you. God got me. God got us. You see it right there. By any means, that's my brand. Hit me up for some merch. Yes, sir, man. That's it for me. Keep dropping them suggestions and comments. I'm out of here.